since I've done a vlog on this channel and I miss it. So today I'm gonna give it to you guys. If for whatever reason you missed the first video where we turned my super into a cop car, it's linked down below. So go check it out so this whole video makes sense. If any of you guys were wondering how this suction cup mount is holding up, I will be honest, I'm a little bit sketched out. These sea sucker mounts are like good for 70 pounds a suction cup, but for some reason, this front right one got a puncture in it, and I don't know how, but it doesn't hold any air anymore. So the only suction cups that are working are the two on that side and only one on this side. It's still extremely sturdy, but today we're gonna be finally taking this car out on the road, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little uneasy and a little nervous driving down the freeway with this big ass light bar on top. Like I said earlier, it's been a long time since I've done a traditional vlog, and I miss you guys. So if you are excited for today's video, Video, smash the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below because man it feels good I, I really missed vlogging and I will say this is the first time I'm driving the cop car on the road and as I left my house this morning all of my neighbors were filming me in their backyard as we drove by pretty safe to say this car draws a lot of attention it's not attention I really like want like I wouldn't be driving this car if it wasn't for the sake of this video because it, it it's almost like an unwanted attention. Everyone's keeping like a literal quarter mile gap on me. No one is like driving next to me. Everyone's keeping this insane gap around me. Yo, I just passed a CHP on the side of the road. Oh, I didn't get it. I don't think he saw us. He's probably like looking down on his computer, but that's my fear is what happens when a cop sees us? What are they gonna do? Technically, this is not illegal, but it's definitely something to raise an eye at. Oh, that got my heart racing for a second. So I'm gonna pull up to the shop and I'm gonna try to freak Evan out. I'm gonna speak on the PA system and tell him to come out with his hands up. I don't know if he's gonna believe it or not, but either way, it's gonna be hilarious. Evan Beckerman, come out immediately with your hands up. What's going on? Evan Beckerman, come out immediately. You are gonna go to jail, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? Ricky, is this legal or what? This is Illegal. He was inside and he was stunned. He was like, what is that? <laughs> you know what I thought it was like <laughs> California coming around telling everyone to turn off all their power because it's really? like, yeah, dude <laughs> People on the road will not drive next to me yeah, Like it is like everyone keeps a huge distance on me. Dude, this thing's kind of gangster. I'm not it's gonna so lie. Sick, it's so dude. sick, dude It's so rad. I love it. When we put it together yesterday, we're like, dude, this is like super cool I didn't think the cops were here, but I didn't put two and two together <laughs> Welcome. Glad you found what you were looking for. Whoa, shots fired, shots fired. Lost my cuffs. You need backup. You need backup immediately. Don't have my cuffs. Stand down. You have the right to remain silent. Everything you say. Are you talking to my client without the me here? Are Everybody. you serious? Lawyer, lawyer, I'll put your whole department in the ground. Get your hands off me. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Any last words, punk? Today's video is brought to you by Keeps. Two out of every three males will experience some sort of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. Keeps is an online subscription service that helps keep hair on your head. 
They offer clinically proven treatments to combat the symptoms of hair loss. And the best part is, is the treatments are delivered straight to the customer's door. It's affordable and half the price of your traditional pharmacy costs as well. Keeps also has 24 seven expert support. So if you have any questions at any time, you can get them answered. You can do it all from the comfort of your own home. If you guys head over to keeps.com forward slash hunt, you can receive 50% off your first order. That's keeps.com forward slash hunt or just click the links down below in the description. Thank you so much to Keeps for sponsoring this video. Yeah, I got him. I see him. I got it. 1099 or? Bro, there's something seriously wrong with you, bro. <laughs> Sir, you have the right to remain silent. Everything you say or do can and will be used to you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you do not have one, if you do not, if you do not have an attorney, one will be, sir, sir. Anything you say can what or will be against you in a court of law. Does it even fire? <laughs> you broke it. I broke it. I broke it. <laughs> Boys, Officer Hunt here. Now, it takes more than just a cop car to be a real officer. Today, we're gonna go patrol the streets and we're gonna find ourselves some bad guys. And we're gonna go get some cool photos of the car and try and get some rollers, let's go. Have you ever like watched cops? There's like the cameraman in the passenger seat and then there's like the cop in the front seat and he's like, yeah, Officer Hunt here. Today, we're gonna be patrolling the streets. We got some calls of uh, some violence down at a, a local cross street. So we're gonna go down and check it out today and see what it's all about. That's how I feel, that's how I feel like we're doing right now. That, that's legitimately how I feel. So we're gonna try and go down to a popular spot where I like to go and get rollers. You guys have probably have seen it. There's like a beautiful big grass hill in the background. It just looks super clean, and I think we can get really, really sick rollers there. Can I take a picture? Yes, sir. <laughs> Everyone loves it, dude. Everyone loves it. <laughs> There's a f***ing cop car behind me right now. Oh, no. We God. literally just got on the main road, and there's legit a cop behind us. And the lights aren't on. N no. Everything, everything, my, my, the thing's not even plugged in. Yeah. But he's like, you know when a cop's like following you closer than like he should? Yeah, I feel you. Oh no. No. Let me see, let me Wait. see if he lights you up. Oh. Oh no. Fuck. Dude. Oh. oh my. Okay. I haven't been pulled over in so long. Oh my god. I'm gonna like try and make oh, it. Oh, I put my windows down. Not obvious. No, just, just roll it. Okay. It's fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm like shaking right now. Oh my god, oh my oh, god. It's two of them. What's going on, Officer Rob, San Diego Police Department? What's going on here? Uh, we're, uh, we're just uh, rolling down the street. Uh, you're driving a car that looks like a cop car. You're wearing a uniform. You got a badge on you. <laughs> it's a really bad look right now, but it's... Really from what from, from what we looked online, as long as it's not plugged in and the badges aren't like too real, it's okay. Okay. So, I understand it probably doesn't look very good. Right. Do you have any ID on you for me? Yeah, yeah, I do. All right, hang tight for me. He literally has, there's literally a cop. Oh do I film, do I stop filming? No, I would roll, I, I researched it. Yeah. I researched everything. Yeah. There's, I'm gonna turn the car on. Yeah, turn it on. They literally have, there's another cop waiting on the other side of this. And I'm wearing this stupid costume, bro. <laughs> Okay, well, this is interesting. <laughs> I mean, what is it gonna do? Just like give me a ticket for having. Like, we were, you weren't even doing anything. I wasn't wrong. doing it. We weren't yeah. even doing anything. Oh, here comes Street. Alright, so we're going to exit the vehicle. Oh, exit the vehicle. Yes, sir. Okay. Go ahead and my car Oh my god, bro. What? I. Hey, yeah. Can I sit by the car for me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and set the camera down. Gotcha! <laughs> I got gotcha. you! You thought that was real! You thought that was so real! Uh, I'm gonna get us out of the side of the street. Boys, I appreciate it. Yeah, Best no thing, problem. I appreciate it. Welcome to I'm like sweating right now and it wasn't even real. We're gonna go back to the shop and get off the street. I, I know y'all are tripping out right there.
had some time with these fine gentlemen, I wanted to ask a couple questions on the vlog because I was always super curious. Listen, if you were to see this car rolling down the street, what would you do? Would you let it go by or would you pull well, over? First, you're gonna invest? see it. It looks like a cop car, but if you look at the details, it's not. When was the last time you ever saw a new Supra? Police car. Yeah, never. I don't, think, I don't think ever. I don't think ever. No. I'm like, so you look at it. Yeah, the side door resembles somewhat of a emblem for CHP, but you've altered it to where, if you look at it close enough, it doesn't look anything like it. Huh? It's got the light bar. It's good to go. Yeah. So if you saw it on the street, you would just let them go by, right? I'd give it a wave. Okay. I'd give it a wave and let you go by. As long as you're being respectful and you're not doing anything stupid, and you're just cruising. That's pretty cool. And I, so speaking on being respectful, I want to do a little segment in this video because I think it's very important. It's like true to like a little bit of a PSA. For me personally, in the last like 10 years of driving cars, you know, that are like this and, and look ridiculous and are very, you know, modified, I've never had an issue with any police with the cars because I feel that if you are disrespectful, you're not an idiot, you're not swerving in and out of traffic or drifting in the street. I always got people that are like, how, how come cops don't mess with you? And I always say to them, I think this is being respectful. And I want to tell you guys that and I, I'm curious to get your take on that. You know, there's, we're in San Diego, there are millions of modified cars. What's your take on when you see something driving by that? The big thing obviously is the respect. You're not doing anything that's gonna make you stand out, anything that's gonna attract extra attention to yourself. The big thing lately has been takeovers. People are going out and doing takeovers yes. in the middle of intersections. Cool. They're destroying the roads. They are keeping emergency personnel away from taking care of emergencies because they have to come and deal with the incident that we have. Everybody saw lately in uh, LA where a fire truck's trying to get through to go to an emergency scene and the takeovers blocked them, started jumping on the truck. Those are the kind of things that are kind of ruining the car industry is because it's the, the disrespect and that they don't care about anything else that's going on besides that current moment. Uh, so as long as you give the respect, you're d you do what you're told. And if you do happen to get stopped on a traffic stop, you just comply with whatever the officer's telling you to do. And then you work it from there. Wait, yeah, I agree. I'm a, personally a big supporter of the police. And I feel like you guys should be too. Take with what we said, just have respect for the others around you and just don't be an idiot. Nine times out of 10, it often works in your favor. I wanna give a big thank you to these gentlemen for being with us in this video. I had a blast. I know you didn't expect it uh, and I, I, I had a bunch of fun. So thank you guys, I appreciate no it. I just got back home and I need to say again, it feels good to be vlogging. It's been a pretty long time since we've done a traditional style vlog and I miss it. And I've asked you guys a million times, if you do miss someone, you want them back, let me know down below. But I wanna give you guys a few little updates on the current garage. Obviously, the new E90 M3, I've been driving it every single day. I haven't washed it once, it is filthy, but this wrap makes everything look good. It is phenomenal, I love this car. Uh, my Harley, I have a bunch of parts coming for it. Hopefully soon, we're still editing the video, but I have a really special Harley Davidson video coming up that uh, is really special. I'm really excited for you guys to see that. Getting a lot of comments in episode one, uh, and I posted TikToks and reels of the cop car, and so many people, man, are just haters. They're like, Oh, that's so gross. Why would you do that? Ruined it. And sometimes people just forget that it's important to have fun. I see a lot of comments in the last video like, oh, must be running out of content. Man, if you guys knew how much stuff was going on in the background, we have six cars coming in the next three months on this channel. Two of them, I haven't shown you guys yet. I've had them for a long time. I've been working on them. One of them's in another country. I'm gonna go and show you guys hopefully next month. There's so much stuff coming. I can't wait, but I'm like, we have an opportunity to like take a couple days and not have to build something for SEMA and do all that type of stuff. I was like, bro, let's have a lot of fun. But ooh, bad news on this. I took this out yesterday when we were filming episode one of the cop uh, series thing and I found rat poo under the car. Some of you guys might be like, yeah, what's the big deal? It's just poo. I hate to say this out loud. This is the first time I've said it out loud, but I believe I have rats living in this car. Uh, rats love to chew wiring. Um, they, they go for it. So probably gonna do a video of diving into this car because I guarantee there's a rat's nest and we found like a snake carcass underneath the car. The car only like has been sitting for like a month while we've been doing other things and um, some days I forget and I leave the garage door open and animals get in here and just terrible news. That's, that's terrible news. They can do a lot of damage. Um, the S14, you guys haven't seen that video yet but we're soon gonna be releasing the S14 video. We'll really dial it up. I've been driving the heck out of this car. As you can see, the wheels are super brown. It's disgusting. I don't wanna show you guys too much. I won't, I, I won't, sorry. I just, I just faked you guys. But the S14, uh, we have a big S14 vlog coming. 
Um, but tonight, I have a good friend of mine. Uh, he's also a, a mentor of mine coming over for dinner. So I'm gonna be going over some like business plans and some cool concepts that I've been working on for the past year. Uh, just more secret stuff. I hate even saying that out loud because it's, it's like, teach. So you're such a chotch, tell people. But I've been working on a lot of big projects like way bigger than me. A lot of it's Street Hunter, but a lot of it not Street Hunter, just like, new things. I love like creating brands and I love creating things and that's a passion that, that I've realized in the last like couple years. I have a deck I wanna show him today that I've been working on that's pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool dude. So he's gonna come over in a little bit and I'm just gonna chill tonight. Ooh, another little update. You guys have been gone for so long. Damn, the Goldens are really excited to see you guys. The Husky, where's the Husky? The Huskies, there he is. He, he could care less. Kona, it's okay. It's okay, Kona. It's okay, okay, anyway, sorry. Uh, I told you guys I was putting a gym in my house, and we did. We have a big, like, big custom door we ordered, like a barn door, it like slides, it's very cool, I'm very excited about it. Should hopefully be here in a month or so, but check this out. Really gotten back into fitness. I say I've really gotten back into fitness, so I've only been only had this for a month, and I've been really consistent for a month. Kind of wish I did more before and after photos, because I'm like, I'm pretty serious, guys. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm on a, a diet that I'm eating 3,400 calories a day. That's that's a lot of calories, um, and I'm trying to I don't know, not like get buff, not like not, I'm not trying to look like Dustin Williams, but I'm just trying to like be more fit and be more active. And I've been waking up every morning, uh, and I've been in here, and I've been tracking um, all of my uh, all of my my goals. I've been tracking weight, I've been tracking what I eat, and who knows? Maybe maybe by Christmas I'll do a little body reveal. That sounds kind of weird. That, that sounds really weird. I don't know. But if you guys want to be kept on my fitness journey or you want to join me on that journey, I encourage you. I challenge you. I don't encourage you. I challenge you because it's tough. It's tough, man, to be consistent. I haven't missed one day all month and a month's not that much. But this thing is super cool. We have these really cool adjustable weights that I did a lot of research on to try and find the best adjustable. These are super, super rad. We have this cable machine, which rocks. It's super, super sweet. Added in some like actual gym flooring. And then this squat rack and bench rack is super dope. I have some Olympic plates on the way so we can actually do deadlifts and have all that fun stuff. But I uh, thought about putting a little cardio bike right here, but I don't really know if it fits. It'd be a little bit tight, but me and Danny work out every day with each other. So that's been a lot of fun. I didn't film anything last night because we actually have the tail end of a hurricane hitting Southern California. It's in Baja and it just like totally caused a ruckus. All of our pool furniture went flying and everything was just destroyed on the outside. And I totally forgot to pick up the camera. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we have some really cool, exciting things coming up and I'm very excited to show you guys that. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out and keep moving forward.